Roman Verosco is an American artist and educator who creates co-generated imagery, known as algorithmic art. Verosco developed his own software for generating original art based on form ideas he had developed as an artist in the 1960s. His software controls the drawing arm of the machine known as a pen plotter that was designed primarily for engineering and architectural drawing. In coding his software Verosco conceives of the machine's drawing arm as an extension or prosthesis for his own drawing arm. The plotter normally draws with ink pens but Verosco adapted oriental brushes to fit the drawing arm and wrote interactive routines for achieving brush strokes with his plotters. In 1995, he co-founded The Algorists with Jean-Pierre Hebert. Biography Roman Verosco was born in Tars, Pennsylvania, a coal mining town 50 miles east of Pittsburgh. A painter in his early life, he also studied as a Benedictine monk at St. Vincent's Seminary in La Trobe, par from 1952 to 1968, joining the faculty there in 1963. His monastic travels took him to places such as New York, Washington, and Paris. After leaving religious life in 1968, he continued experimenting with automatic drawing that led him to explore methods of writing code to achieve some form of computer automatism. This led him to redirect all his artistic practices toward algorithmic art. He married Alice Wagstaff in August 1968. She was a psychologist and gave seminars at the monastery when Verosco met her. She died in 2009. He now resides in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where he taught at the Minneapolis College of Art and Design from 1968 to 1994 and holds the title of Professor Emeritus. Education. After graduating from high school, Verosco studied at the Art Institute of Pittsburgh, where he received a diploma in illustration in 1949. In 1950 he entered the St. Vincent Arch Abbey scholastic program for monks that included entrance to St. Vincent College, monastic vows in 1954, a bar in philosophy in 1955, four years of theology in the St. Vincent Major Seminary and ordination as a priest in 1959. While Verosco remained a monk attached to St. Vincent Arch Abbey, he pursued graduate work in the early 1960s at other institutions, first in an MFA program at Pratt Institute in 1961, then studies in art history at New York University and Columbia University from 1961 to 1962. Verosco then traveled to Paris, where he studied printmaking at Stanley William Hayter's Atelier 17 from 1962 to 1963, as well as took courses at the École du Louvre and visited religious sites. Much of Verosco's work in Paris pursued visual manifestations of inner experience that transcended rational observation. For many of these automatic works he maintained a private notebook of experience states as related to their execution. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Hayter worked very closely with the Surrealists exploring semi-automated methodologies for image-making in the belief that its source was the irrational. Hayter also associated with many of the forerunners of the algorists, among them Le Corbusier. Many of the themes Verosco would explore in his life's work, examples, emerged in this time period in and around Paris. He resumed creating abstract expressionist paintings and toured an innovative light and sound show he had created based on the Psalms. While editing the New Catholic Encyclopedia in Washington, D.C., Verosco wrote his first code in punch cards at Control Data in the late 1960s and studied the humanization of new technologies in the summer of 1970 at MIT after receiving a grant from the Bush Foundation. But my real coding work began with the first personal computers, the Apples we had in 78 and the IBM that came out in August 1981, he said. Artworks In 1982, Verosco developed an interactive program which produced a computer-generated light show called the Magic Hand of Chance. 
It was a mere 32 kilobits in size and was written in the computer language BASIC on a first-generation IBM PC. The magic hand was capable of running for days without repeating itself. He went on to create his Hodos software, an integrated program of routines that, to his mind, attempted to mime some of the procedures he had used in his pre-algorist years. His pen plotter, with 14 pen stalls, provided a rich palette of inks for his drawing routines. He also created routines for driving oriental brushes adapted to the machine's drawing arm. By 1987 he had integrated expressive brush strokes with colorful clusters of pen strokes. Examples of his algorithmic plotter work include the Pathway series, the Pearl Park scriptures, the Diamond Lake Apocalypse and the Manchester Illuminated Universal Turing Machine, produced in honor of Alan Turing. In 1990, Veros co-published an artist's book in honor of George Boole, in a limited edition. Each copy of the book contains unique multi-pen plotter drawings with the frontispiece, including a single brush stroke created using the same algorithm. In 2008, Veros co-installed an upside-down mural with 11 units spanning two stories inside the main entrance of the Fred Rogers Center located on the St. Vincent College campus, La Trobe, Pennsylvania. The images are digital transformations of his original pen and ink drawings created for an upside-down book in the 1970s. His Upside Down book was published and dedicated to Fred Rogers on August 2, 2008. Awards and Honors 2009 SIGGRAPH Distinguished Artist Award for Lifetime Achievement The other 2009 recipient was Lynn Hirschman Leeson 1995 Artec 95 Recommendatory Prize 1994 Golden Plotter First Prize Gladbeck, Germany 1993 Pre Ars Electronica, Honorary Mention, 1970 Bush Leadership Fellow, 1971 1974 Outstanding Educators of America, Public Collections. His work is held by the Victoria and Albert Museum, Minneapolis Institute of Art, St. Vincent College, Spalding University in Louisville, and the Frey Science and Engineering Center at the University of St. Thomas in St. Paul. His drawings have also been featured in over 30 exhibitions in shows in Rome, Berlin, Istanbul, Lima, Tokyo, and New York. Bibliography Spalter and Morgan the Computer in the Visual Arts, Addison Wesley, ISBN 0-201-38600-3, Wands, Bruce, Art of the Digital Age, London, Thames and Hudson, ISBN 0-500-23817-0, Foray Walker, James, Painting the Digital River, Prentos Hall, ISBN 0-13-173902-6, Lisa, Wolf, Digital Art, Ullman, ISBN 9783-8331-5337-2, Edward Day, Shankin, Art and Electronic Media, London, Fieden, ISBN 978-0-7148-4782-5, p. 23, Bedard, Honor and Dodds, Douglas, Digital Pioneers, London, Victoria and Albert Museum, ISBN 978-1-85177-587-3, Taylor, Grant D., When the Machine Made Art, the Troubled History of Computer Art, New York, Bloomsbury, ISBN 9781-6235-6884-9.